Welcome, it's me, your host, Amy from Penventure, and if that quick montage that our team put together was interesting, wait till you see this fountain pen right here. It doesn't get any better than this. Uh, <laughs> I just had to design my whole studio just to fit pens like this in order to be reviewed. Big thank you goes out to Montegrappa for putting everything together and making this experience possible for myself and I'm gonna share everything with you all regarding the anniversary 85 years Monopoly limited edition fountain pen. I have a big big box and um, in this case I think the experience the ownership experience with this fountain pen is as is important as the fountain pen itself. I want to try to showcase what you get when you order such a writing instrument. You basically get a 20 kilograms box the one that we have here and it is like a half of my desk i don't know let's see what we find inside i'm gonna remove the lid 85 anniversary monopoly on the lid voila yeah basically you get a monopoly full operational game from montegrappa over time montegrappa is known to address licensing themes for writing instruments but they do such, such a good job with this. In the case that we have in front of us, it's the same. We have a Monopoly, and excuse if I'm uh, struggling to carry this because it's 20 kilograms. This is made out of solid wood, so it's supposed to be heavy. The Monopoly board game itself was launched in 1935 by the Parker Brothers, and uh, it was launched at the height of the Great Depression. It was a huge, huge success. In one year, it reached out to Great Britain, and from there, it spread out and it conquered the world. From then, we have well over 85 years of happy memories. We have a wood box in which we have a full Monopoly game with all and every single small detail of this game is absurd. I don't know where to start, but till we get to the pen itself, I'm gonna show you something very interesting. If we open this draw to say we are greeted by the currency itself i just hope i'm not going to stumble upon my camera you'll know if i do something wrong so we have the money then we have the properties cards we have the chance cards the community chest cards and also the houses i'm going to show you how they look so they are made out of uh, plastic just like the usual ones then we have the hotels in this very cute thing right here. Then we have the dices and tokens. Montegrappa spoils us with something very interesting. They are offering the tokens made out of solid silver. Yeah, you heard that correctly. We have two normal dices right here. And we have the tokens which are made in sterling silver. Basically, you get a luxury Monopoly set, you can enjoy using the packing of this writing instrument, not only to display your writing instrument, but also to play with it together with your family, your friends, and to get a lot out of it. I know that you are all here for the review for the fountain band. So we, first of all, need to get the game out of uh, the picture and we did that let's move this aside and i'm gonna show you where the pen is resting waiting for you if we lift this wood lid we are greeted by this treasure which lies in the deep parts of this monopoly chest and this is where we have the fountain pen right here I'm not going to show you yet the fountain pen. We're going to put it aside. I'm going to show you the brochure that you get with the fountain pen, Monopoly 85th anniversary. It is gorgeous, splendid, and as usual, Montegrappa is offering a very, very nice experience to any user and any collector that wants their pieces in their private collections. I just love the marketing uh, stuff of Montegrappa is to die for. We have the limited edition number right here, 13 of 85. Wow, seems like Montegrappa heard that I'm 
huge fan of number 13 so they uh, gave me the number 13 of 85 to review for everyone let me put everything aside and by everything i mean the box because it's this big i'm gonna get back to you guys regarding the review of this amazing writing instrument so we have here the monte grappa 85 anniversary and like always with pen venture i'm gonna walk you through all of the design features of this writing instrument i'm gonna show you how it looks how it feels we will have a side-by-side -side size comparison a writing sample and in the end i'm gonna share some of my personal opinions regarding this fountain pen and we'll end the video also, I will let you know how you can own this fountain pen at a very special price. This is the writing instrument that will delight our presentation. We have the 85 anniversary Monopoly. It is a very interesting fountain pen and I'm going to tell you why I think is that. I would like to start with the details first, the overall look of the fountain pen, the small details, every single thing that makes this fountain pen a very nice writing instrument and not only a collector piece but also a functional fountain pen. I am very excited to show you guys what Monte Grappa is capable of. We have basically a uh, resin pen body which is covered in a silver overlay carved with details. It has a huge huge amount of details. On the finial we have the logo M and Monopoly and this is a flat finial. If we turn the font pen like this we can observe on the bevel of the finial 1935-2020 Hush Pro. I think it has to do with the licensing this uh, inscription. Moving further we can see that the clip of this font pen is very very nice. It is the hat of the logo of Monopoly. It is uh, with the lip letter M on top and we have few small diamonds which are set right there. It looks gorgeous. On the cap we have an amazing array of details and you can spot them right here. We have some of the game tokens that can be chosen by the actual players of the game. Reading the brochure of this fountain pen I've learned that the technique used in order to create this masterpiece is lost wax casting combined with fine machinery. You can see that we have some cutouts which show off the beautiful red, deep red resin. Moving the cap like this, we can observe we have a few of the game cards right here, the property ones. I would love to see uh, some of the names of that property inserted in there but I think it would look a little bit small and wouldn't be as interesting but for a Monopoly player knower of all things I think they are very easily distinguished. We have the mirroring uh, details like on this side right here. I think the clip of this fun pen has more of an artistic uh, purpose above being a functional clip. It works, it can keep your fun pen clipped but I think it looks very nice and we should keep it that way without trying our luck at clipping this fun pen on very thick clothes. On the back of uh, the clip or opposite to the clip Monte Grappa engraved. Right under the clip we have Monopoly, the logo of the board game with the official font and everything. We have one and a little bit of a quarter of a turn to uncap this fountain pen and we are greeted by the nib. It is simple yet elegant, it is laser engraved, it has the Monopoly logo, the M, Monte Grappa, it is 18 karat gold 585, I think it's a size 6 if I'm not mistaken. We have a ebonite feed, I can't wait to see how this fountain pen is writing. The 18 karat gold nib is available in a few sizes, what we have here is the extra fine or this fountain pen. Let's take a closer look at ergonomics and let's see the configuration of the section from different Monte Grappa limited edition high-end fountain pens. This is one of the fountain pens that I would consider using on a daily basis because it's very practical, it's fairly light considering the fact that other fountain pens that are at the same caliber are very 
very heavy and unpractical. We can spot that the overall configuration of the section begins with this sterling silver ring on the edge of the section. We can see that there is some patina and with silver is to be expected to have such look. The shape of the section is pretty, pretty comfortable. I've seen a lot of fountains that are a bit more impractical than this one. We have a section that picks up in girth starting from this point towards the cap threads. The cap threads are very, very nicely integrated. They are not sharp at all. You can grip the fountain pen much higher than those threads. Now let's move towards the barrel of the fountain pen. Just like I told you, this fountain pen is made out of uh, resin and we have a overlay of silver that covers the barrel of the fountain pen and it is stunning. As you can see, we have a few cutouts that show the beautiful red contrast against the silver. If you know me by now, you know that I love silver and the red. And this is why I ordered this fountain pen in this color scheme. This fountain pen is part of a limited edition collection made in sterling silver. So we have 85 fountain pens and 85 rollerballs available in two different colors. We have this red and there is another color and that one is a teal if I'm not mistaken, something like this, a very minty bluish green. There is another part of uh, the limited edition collection which is made in solid gold. Let's get back to the subject of our review right here. On the barrel of this fountain pen we can spot that there is a lot of details, a few depictions of uh, for example utility, we have a light bulb, we have a water tap, a policeman that will take you to jail, we have a ring down the barrel, we can spot that we have 85, there is the small hat of the mascot of uh, Monopoly on the number eight. And this 85 is made with so much detail because we have in those two digits real diamonds set. So yeah, talk about high end. Moving further, we have Monopoly right here and we are going to finish the barrel with the same style of mirroring the details of the upper part. Pretty much that's the overall shape of the barrel. The shape runs pretty straight. Also, you can take into consideration the fact that holding the fountain pen like so, in normal use, you don't have any sharp parts that will touch your hand. So it doesn't matter if it is a limited edition fountain pen from Monte Grappa, you can totally use this fountain pen. It is a practical writing instrument and you can put the box away. I don't see you carrying that box with you at work just to play with your colleagues. The fun pen, you can take it. Okay, let's get back. Now we have the piston filling mechanism, which by now, if you are a fan of Monte Grappa, you know that they like to use the ratcheting piston filling mechanism, which has this cool sound to it. But not only that, it gives off feedback. It's like wanting your mechanical watch and getting that sweet, sweet vintage feedback from the action. So this is what Monte Grappa tried to portray with this uh, ratcheting piston filling mechanism. On the back of the piston knob, we have the limited edition number. In this case, 13 out of 85, just like I told you. Monte Grappa knows that I love 13. So they make everything possible to enjoy this fountain pen in my favorite number. Now that we got to know the ownership experience and also the details of the limited edition 85th anniversary Monopoly Monte Grappa fountain pen, let's put it side by side with other fountain pens in order to grasp the overall size and dimensions of this fountain pen. Then I'm going to give you some of the overall measurements of the fountain pen. We will move into a writing sample. In the end, I'm going to share some of my personal opinions regarding this fountain pen and we are going to end the video. This is what I've put together for you guys and let's put the Monopoly right here in the middle. So we have from left to right Mont Blanc 1912 ASC Bologna Extra Monte Grappa Limited Edition Monopoly 85th Anniversary Monte Grappa 1930 Extra and Aurora 88. Uh, as you can probably see we have it side by side with the 1930 Extra so if you are accustomed with a another Monte Grappa piece 
I see no problems in owning this fountain pen and enjoying it. Here is a snapshot side by side with the same writing instruments but uncapped. The measurements of the fountain pen are 143 millimeters capped, uncapped 129 millimeters, posted 180 millimeters, and the total weight of the fountain pen capped and fully inked is 73 grams and uncapped is 32 grams. Basically, this fountain pen is listed on the Penventure website. You can order it for a special price if you contact me in private. Let's put this extra fine nib to the paper. I'm going to use something that will clean very easy and it's Waterman Inspired Blue. Beautiful ink, turquoise like so. That is the sound of the ratcheting piston filling mechanism. And now that we are done, let me put the ink on the side like this. Now let's take a piece of paper and let's see how this nib is performing. Now we have the pen and this is Monte Grappa 85 Anniversary Monopoly. The ink is Waterman Inspired Blue. The nib is 18 karat gold and this is an extra fine point. The paper as usual, my favorite 52GSM Tomoe River paper. Now, the nib is gorgeous. As you've seen, this is an example how this nib is writing out of the box. So there is no tinkering, there is no adjustment, nothing whatsoever. This is the first time that I've dipped the fountain pen in ink and it works flawless courtesy of Montegrappa and their quality control. Let's do a wetness test and it's a wet extra fine nib. I would call it like this. It is not a gusher. As usual, I forgot to move the paper a little bit higher and we will try that one more time. So we have one pass and we have a double pass. As you can see, they are pretty similar. And uh, I would call it this nib a wet nib, but not a fire hose nib. Now we will have some normal figure of eights and I would call this nib pretty fine. It is not a Japanese extra fine or something like this, but it is pretty fine. Flex. Now let's give it a little bit of push. It has a decent, decent amount of give and you can totally totally have some line variation with this nib. I wouldn't advise you to try pushing this nib too far. Now the famous sentence. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. It is gorgeous. The nib writes very, very well. It doesn't skip, it doesn't hard start. It is how it came from the box. So if you get this fountain pen, this is what you can expect. With such high-end fountain pens, it is not nice to have them uh, with nip problems or anything like this. This Montegrappa passed all my tests. It rats perfect out of the box. Now it's time to share some of my personal opinions regarding this fountain pen and uh, I don't know where to start. We have a very interesting writing instrument that's limited edition. It comes with a mind blowing of a ownership experience. With the fountain pen, you get a full luxury uh, Monopoly uh, set with uh, silver tokens. Uh, you can 
play with that set with all of your friends. In the second part, you get a limited edition high-end uh, writing instrument from Monte Grappa, which is uh, done with absurd amount of attention to details. When you put them both together, you basically get a lot more for your money. I know that many of you just take the fountain pen out of the box and put the box away in a desk or something like this or in a drawer. With this one, physically, you cannot put it someplace like this because it's just so damn big. It has functionality and you can put the fountain pen in the box or you can use the fountain pen and then play with the Monopoly. No matter how big is the box and it is unpractical, you cannot take that with you. On the fountain pen, it's the opposite. It's very, very nice. It's not big. It's very, very nice. It's a high-end limited edition. It comes with a certain price and at least put in perspective what you get for that price. And above else, it is a very, very fun and likable writing instrument, or at least this is how I find this Monopoly pen. Those are my thoughts regarding this very interesting project. If you're interested in owning uh, this fountain pen, you have it available on the Pen Venture website. Down below, you will find a link. Also, down below, let me know into the comment section if you have certain thoughts or questions regarding this pen. Down below, you will find the details for our website, my social media accounts, and also my email. If you need anything, you just write an email and I will be quick to answer those. Thank you for spending your time on the Pen Venture YouTube channel reviewing the Monte Grappa Monopoly 85th anniversary writing instrument. If you want to support me doing videos like this, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot to reach out to many more passionate individuals just like me and just like you. If you're not subscribed yet and it is a high possibility that you're not subscribed, around 85% because 85% of people that are watching my content are not subscribed, you can do that. You can subscribe and turn the notification bell on. So this way you will know whenever I post new content. And if you want to see more of my content, you can click on this video right here and enjoy. My name is Amy and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, stay strong, right on. Bye bye. Or at least ciao in Italian. Bye.